good to see you. Uh, first off, how did you find out uh, about the, uh, the the test results and uh, just how crushing was it for you? Not, not yeah. The I mean, I found out just like uh, we test every day, so just got the result from from uh, Ray, and uh, yeah, so it's just kind of many things were leaning towards maybe a false positive, uh, but it ended up that I had COVID, so that's, that's, how, that's what happened. And it was really hard for sure to watch away from the team. I didn't realize how hard it would be to, <clears throat> to be away and just kind of, I don't really get nervous with hockey, playing games and stuff, but being away watching, uh, not being able to, to do any, anything to help was tough. Did you have any, or can you say if you had any symptoms or? Yeah, it was like not bad though, like just a um, couple things the first three, four days, and then uh, that was it really. Like, if, I don't want to mi minimize it, but there's. There's a feeling that I've played with worse things before, and it's just a situation where there's a protocol, and obviously the way it can spread around, all that stuff, and uh, that stuff. David, with the season that you had, and then for it to end like that, I mean, that's just, I mean, that had to feel like a gut punch for you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, uh, I was just hoping at least the boys would, would get like one game, uh, one win there because I, there's a chance that I could have uh, maybe play uh, that game. I'm not sure if if they would have cleared me, but I was doing everything in my power um, to to get that done. And whether it was going to be like manage minutes or not, um, I just wanted to be out there, find a way out there, and then who knows what can happen. But uh, yeah, it was it was really hard. Like uh, like you said, the season I had, I felt I had momentum going the right way, and and. Sure enough, like also as a team, we, we go the whole year um, cleanly, basically one of the only team in the NHL. And we lived through some like games that were canceled, all that stuff. We, they moved the schedule around. And then when it came our time, uh, that didn't happen. So that was disappointing for me also. Yeah, that's, that, that's got to be the toughest thing, David. During the regular season, OK, we can move the games back, you know, two weeks, three weeks, a month. but. Not so in the playoffs, huh? Yeah, exactly. I don't know why, uh, in a way, and it wasn't really playoffs. Also, it was before, so like uh, there's one series that wasn't started for another four days. Maybe you take the, those like three, four days. I don't know. It's it's over now. Uh, but th obviously, those are things that I'm seeing at home, and every, everyone's hitting me up and trying to find what's going on and because of the situation, the playoffs, I, I just didn't get back to anyone. I apologize if you reached out to anyone and I didn't get back to you, but I just I just felt it was better to just just leave it like that. And uh, obviously I, I appreciate some of the texts I got too. <clears throat> David, can, can you say if you were vaccinated? Yeah, but uh, yeah, like I've, I've seen some tweets <clears throat> about that <clears throat> and um, I don't know why it's a big deal, like uh, as much for for guys like the three guys that got it. We we were so it's unfortunate, and it shows that it's not perfect. And I, I get it why people can ask, but in the room, I can tell you that we support each, each individual to make their own decision, and uh, it's a tough balance for the three guys that got it. So, David, were you saying you, you might have been able to play in Game Five? Would or would not? Could you have played in Game Five or would it have been I, Game Six? I, I don't know. I, I mean, that's that's me, like deep down, <clears throat> thinking of if there's a chance I can get out there, I will find a way to be out there. But I don't know if I could have done everything needed and and then maybe convince uh, the doctors all that to put me out there. But uh, if if you're asking me, I would have been out there. But I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, I, I can't really be there. I don't know. It never happened, so we don't know. But I guess game five would have been today, and I feel like I I could, yeah. And, and so, but the, you were getting uh, probably getting close, though, right? Did you have a sense you were getting close to the time where you could be ready to play? Well, I mean, I don't know. I I didn't skate, but uh, yeah, like I was that the night basically that uh, 
that we, we, we lost. It was, it was my last day in the protocol, so, yeah. David, I just want to be 100% positive because it's such a tough, touchy subject. <laughs> I want to be clear, you did say that you got vaccinated, right? That's what you said? Yeah, I don't want to talk about that anymore. I was, yes. Okay. And was it just difficult because you took so many precautions, you did everything you could, you got vaccinated, and yet still somehow able to contract the virus? Uh, yeah, like, uh, I, I think as a team we did, and um, I, the thing that's tough, like, with the protocol at first is, like, we... We were still like testing every day, regardless of your situation. It's, I don't know, like it was, it was just like a tough year, I think, mentally for everyone too. But it is uh, disappointing to go through the whole time, and then that's when uh, it happens at the end. And um, I, with Wally, I think everyone was a little bit shocked because he was vaccinated as well. And then same with Walk. So uh, yeah, it's tough. Any any explanation from the doctors? Like that, there's like some variant strains going around. Do they have any thoughts on that or no? I'm not a doctor, Jim, but you can. I think if you Google it, and I've Googled so many things about COVID, it you can still get it regardless. So it's a tough balance. Yeah. And, and, and you alluded to it, but but. It had to be torture just watching the playoffs. Uh, I'm sure you, you, you felt like you could help the team. Huh? Um, yeah, I mean, again, like, I think it was the whole thing. Like, I feel like the last, like, we had a couple good spurts of the season and, and a, one really tough part in the middle. And the last part, I think we we grinded uh, out of our, our hole a bit that we were, when Arizona was ahead of us, we had, we went and played Colorado, we played Minnesota a bunch, and then we, we had good result against them. So we had somewhat of a good feeling going into, we kind of had lines that were a little bit more set than they had been the whole year, um, the, like those last three, four games uh, when we played LA and, and, and Minnesota. And um, it was really hard, yes. Like I, I know I could have helped in certain areas, um, but at the same time, I, I thought the guys like it's uh, they got put in situations that that n some of them weren't there before, or whatever. Like I thought some guys did a good job and they worked, and sometimes like they're a good team over there. So um, it is hard for sure. It was the hardest thing I had to do in a while, as far as just watching away and um, again like after games, like the games were late late enough that you'd think I'd go right to bed after. But I was so mad and like frustrated and 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 kind of just kind of all, all kinds of emotions I, I feel like I couldn't sleep for a while after games so David when you uh, assess this uh, it is what it is it's a four game sweep do you feel like that uh, there's an obvious gap there between yourselves and you know maybe the Colorados and the Vegases and those teams that are expected to be at the top uh, you know obviously changes are probably going to happen but do, did you feel like there's there's some obvious uh, differences there between you and and those teams? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I think we we were we have had like a turnover of, of players uh, in in the last couple of years that have been impactful players, not only on the ice but in the leadership department, in the culture department of this team, the identity to every single night. We know what to expect, and I think. Obviously, with Jay Bo, Petro, and, and Steiner, like th that's going to be a, a, a big difference there. So it's, uh, I thought we did a good job last year um, before COVID hit, and then now it's up to us, like to to challenge each, each other to really kind of grab that back, not let it slip much further than that. And you can look at it, yes, it's there was a gap, but at the same time, I'd like to see our team with Sonny playing, with myself playing, Falker, those guys, everyone missing, Bortuzzo, like even Gunny. Um, see where we would have uh, been at playing them like that. Um, I think we could have had a chance, but again, uh, it's up to us to show it next year. And, and if we don't start showing, and then we know what direction it could it could go as well. So um, I think at times, like from from playing and watching, um, I, I just felt like we weren't like sustaining the momentum that one line would go out there, and then it would kind of turn into a different different game we have to, to stay true to our culture our identity and um, I think that's the way to have success moving forward. Hey David Chief said a couple days ago that he felt like at times the identity wasn't there this year my question is do you feel like you know newer players younger players that 
maybe you want to be rush type players. Do you feel like the style that guys on the team want to play is maybe different than than what maybe management coaching staff want the team to play? Uh, I mean, it's it's a obviously it's a tough question. It's a good question. Um, I think it's up to the coaches. It's up to the players to to, to help those guys along too. If to understand what we need, and obviously we can use every strength of every player, uh, but at the same time, there's there's an identity here that it's I, it's it's more than just these coaches. I think it's been going on for longer, that's uh, been working, and we had success not long ago doing it. And uh, again, like you see, there's other teams around the league that that uh, I, I just think you have more of a control over a game when you play deep in the zone, when you control the puck, than trying to like match. Uh, rush plays against a, a, a team like Colorado and you also saw teams like Edmonton lost they, they like their rush game like I don't know if that's the way to win in the in the playoffs either and that, it's all about the playoffs for me I, I want to win the cup and uh, I think it's still the way to win and we saw Tampa Bay last year like they had trouble getting getting over the hump they got some some heavy guys and Pat Maroon Coleman those guys good row and uh, they found a way to win. I think those guys were really impactful uh, to, to their success, and I think we're going to see the same thing again, whoever wins. Well, David, do you, do you think there's there's enough here to still be a, a, a cup contender? Yeah, I think uh, I think there is. Again, like it's going to be up to us to show it. Uh, but yeah, like I, I do think this year there was uh, we need to kind of raise our team game a little bit. Uh, I, I thought like. Uh, you guys could see, I'm sure, again, like one line would go out and then then it would kind of fall off and then pick it back up. Like I, That's a big thing Steiner brought up o over the years here, how important it is to set up the next guy, uh, how important the team ga game is, the culture. And uh, that's that's been a staple of this team for, for longer than even just those, those coach uh, that we have right now. And I, I think we're all on board in a way, but we have to show it. Def defensively, uh, it, it, you guys improved noticeably down the stretch, but o over the long haul, it just wasn't the overall the kind of Blues defense that that we've seen. Any any thoughts on on, on why that? Yeah, was that'll be an adjustment. Like I said, like we've we've lost some some guys, like key pieces, like so. Yeah, like uh, we can't expect to just be the same team. I don't, we don't have the same players. It takes. Uh, a little bit, I think, for everyone to get understand, get on the same page. Like Pareko was banged up for for a good part of the season, if not the whole year, even when he played. And you could tell he was starting to get healthy at the end. But uh, just just him and Jay Bo, those guys, they were the staple of our defense. Like the year we won. So guys, I think have done a good job, like uh, coming in, like Kruger, our power play, like to start the way we did, and then finish the way we did too as a power play unit at the end. It, that was impressive. Like we were 30th in the league for a while, I think, and we finished top, top five, top 10. And uh, yeah, so I think some guys like we, we did a good job to grab some stuff back, but we can still raise uh, many areas of our game. Let's do, Let's do two more guys. Hey, David, I'm, I'm curious now, um, going into the final year of your contract, uh, is that something that uh, would be on your mind this off season and entertain maybe uh, do you feel good about where your game is at, and would you entertain extension talks and uh, possibly finishing your career here in St. Louis? <laughs> well, that would have to be an eight-year deal then to finish my career. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, it's definitely something that uh, I love the city and I love the guys here. I love the, just the, the mentality of the team and everything about it, and definitely I feel comfortable. I hope they feel the same about the, my game and the way it's going. And uh, I'm gonna keep working as hard as I can to keep improving, and find find little details in my game that that can make me make me a little bit more complete as a player. Um, trying to even keep adding to the leadership department, all that stuff. So, of course, it's something that um, I hope uh, we can get into. But we'll see how it's gonna go. And uh, I think these are conversations that that we're not gonna have right now. And we'll we'll, we'll see. Like as far as it's not in the media that we're gonna do our things, but we'll see. That'd, that'd be nice. David, that was a good line, uh, but I think you're kind of serious. I mean, you kind of strike me as a player who thinks you can play till 40, 41. I, I said that to Panger uh, after the last game of the season, uh, and I, I just I just feel like I'm, I'm scared of the end, so I want to keep getting better. I want to keep improving. 
I want to put keep pushing harder in the gym to to get basically give myself the best chance to keep playing. You never know when this is over. And and yes, like I I do see other guys around the league that uh, have been successful. I'm not I'm not the greatest skater, but there are other guys are in the same situation and and they they are uh, successful. Like you see a guy like T.J. Oshi, those guys like. He's not the fastest skater either, but he's got a lot of things that he does well, and as he's getting up there in age as well. So I think absolutely I want to play as, as long as I can, and uh, it's got to make sense for everyone, but ho hopefully we can, we can talk about that.